Doctor, what are radiotheranostics? Well, they represent an innovative technique in cancer care. It's a contraction of thera for therapy and gnostics for diagnostic. Radio means that radioactive substances are being used. Depending on the radioactive molecule we use, we can either do diagnostic or therapy. Both are binding to the same molecular target. The molecular targets are the proteins expressed on the surface of cancer cells and to which the radiotheranostic agents will bind. Okay, but um, how does it work exactly? This method is implemented in two phases. First, a reconnaissance mission, and if this one is successful, a destruction mission. The reconnaissance mission is the imaging phase. Administered by intravenous injection, the imaging product is composed of a ligand which has the property of binding directly to the molecular target. It is specific to it as their shapes fit perfectly with each other. And a radioactive molecule that emits low-dose radiations that can be detected with scanners to create images. For example, fluor-18 or gallium-68. Together they form a fantastic team that is called Radio Tracer. After being injected, our Radio Tracer searches for cancer cells. Once the cell is identified, the ligand binds to it and enters the cancer cell. The radioactive molecule emits radiations at this same place that will be detected by a scanner. The result allows to visualize the cancer cells, but also to assess if the target is sufficiently expressed by the lesions, which is necessary for the treatment to work. If it is, we will move to the second phase, the therapy. Our same ligand switches companion to form a new team. This time, its new radioactive teammate emits short-distance particles with more destructive properties. This can be, for example, lutetium-177 or actinium-225. Together, they carry out a mission of a different kind. Once injected into the body, the ligand finds the cancer cell and binds to it again. This time, the nature of the radioactivity is different as the radiations deliver high-energy particles within a short radius to destroy the targeted cells. And little by little, the cancer cells are killed. The effectiveness and the toxicity of the treatment will be monitored in a medical consultation. Always seek the advice of your doctor for any questions about a medical condition or any health-related issues and before undergoing any new healthcare plan. Answers to your questions can be found in the next video.